Hey guys, uh, this is Lei from Goldfish Corner. Welcome back. And today we're going to talk about a very interesting virtual tool to one of my friends, Goldfish Garage in South Australia. Goldfish keepers are part of the societies. So the question is how we as a community to help the global community. Uh, what's the main challenging of our world? Uh, I kind of thinking about this question. Um, obviously, the top challenging for the world is the climate change, the greenhouse emission around the world. And we all know this is a global challenging and everyone's facing. So the question is, what can we do as a goldfish keeper to help the world? to slow down the climate change cycle and to do something to help the community. You know, initially I thought about it too far away from us, but it's happening. You know, as a good citizen, we should be take our responsibility to help others to join this uh, the global initiative of the low carbon life to reduce the greenhouse emission and to reduce our CO2 emission. So if you think about it, how this relates to goldfish keeping, you know, we're using power line and the power always came from either renewable energy or traditionally from the coal burning as a community member as a goldfish keeper if we can reduce the power that we use that obviously going to contributing the low carbon life or reduce the co2 emission it's not much but think about it if globally if you and me we can do one by one as as a community we're gonna uh, support uh, our uh, world and help the world is getting better. I thought it probably going to be two ways to help decarbonization of net zero initiatives as a global gold fishing community. One is, you know, using more traditional uh, gold fish keeping technology using the less power, more organic ecosystem pond with more algae. If you look at all the gold fish farms, they typically use the green water. So that's one way to go back maybe to get some wisdom or technology from the traditional gold fish keeping so we can reduce the power consumption. Uh, the second one is completely modernized way uh, is to using the renewable energy such as solar, such as wind power, Kind of a thinking about how to get to get this started and then one of my uh, friends his name is jeff patterson from south uh, australia he actually sent me uh, an invite to his uh, goldfish garage he told me his facility fully powered by solar energy and he actually gave me a very quick demo to show everything let's go Hello, Lay. How are you, mate? Uh, it's just a uh, little uh, bit of a video here for you to have a look at if you're interested on just the way I do things here. I live in uh, Nackerby in South Australia, so we get pretty warm here. I run things by solar here, and I don't think I know too many people that uh, run their fish system by solar, but I'll let you have a little bit of a look. Excuse the wiring, it looks a bit messy, but it is not tied into the grid and it's all run with kick out switches and that so it is very safe so here we go there you go mate i i run two charge controllers uh, they come in at 24 volt that's two 40 amp and a 50 amp it goes down and converted to 12 volt for the batteries which i run 1200 amps so I can even run stuff inside if I need to and I lose power. That's a 3000 watt inverter. So I run everything off of 240, basically off this 12 volt system. Um, I uh, have two pumps in there, a 12 volt pump and a 240. It's running off the 240, which is running off the solar. Currently, I can change over at any time. They're both 5,000 litres. Um, I'll just turn the lights on. So, my little lamp too, pretty happy, but uh, we've got uh, some holes down there running right around the pipe. So, when they do their uh, poos and wees, that all goes up through the system, up through the top, which the water pushes it down. It goes through the pipe work, into the swirl, into the bio, and into the sump. I'd like to get a bigger sump one though, that's only 160. So if I actually turn the system off, I've got to be careful I don't overflow. So, um, 
Yeah, so uh, as you can see, that runs all this part here is ran from that system there. The air actually runs everything, and the air is run to loop around the shed like that, and that also runs off the solar system. If I just poke my head up here, you can see there's two. There's a 240 pump and a 12 volt pump which I can click over and change as need be so I do have various valves on the bottom of them which run out through the garden through the wall there now this here that's about 500 litres they're linked together like that and uh, that I submerge those U-shaped uh, PVC pieces flip them up in there and it keeps the water flowing from one to the next um, and as you see I can top up with the valves that come up through every one and then I just put a hose in the top which everyone will drain out and it goes out through those holes there so that is my system um, yeah uh, just a little question uh, well something I heard you say to a I think she's a all right, isn't it cool? Do you like it? Is it brilliant? The whole goldfish garage powered by solar energy. Um, you know, this is very encouraging when I saw his project. I'm not suggesting this is the way for everyone to follow, but at least he's showing me something's real, something's actual project as option, you know, for us to follow. Maybe not just individual goldfish keeper, but some goldfish farm can follow uh, his uh, footprint as as just as one of the options. Uh, Jeff does have a YouTube goldfish channel called Ghost Aquarium. I suggest everyone to take a look and maybe sub his channel. There's a lot of uh, goldfish videos, DIY project. If you have any, any question or any comment, please suggest it below in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.